Hey y'all, we're going to uh, go ahead and get started. Um, I got everything set up right now. I got the pots filled, I got the seats sitting on top, so it's just going to be a quick little video of showing you how to put the seats in. Um, I'll end up watering them in after the video's done. And I'm just going to set these under a grow light. And uh, let them go. So, let's go on. Alright. First up here is Marigolds. I was coming down here. I got some out of the bag. I was looking for the uh, big ones. Sorry, y'all. I didn't wash my hands. I just, you know, getting through this. Find, you know, the ones that look the best. And putting them up in the pot. See? And then I just come back with my little tool and I just push the miracles. You can double them up if you want. That's why I put so many in the pot. Because I wasn't sure if any of the seed, how many of the seeds would come up. So I just. That pot's done. I've got a little bit of hard spot there. I won't bore you with the rest, it's so on. Alright, I got those all put away. Slide these up off the way. Set these back on top so I can make markers for those. And, oh, I'm going to have to put these away real quick. Alright. I got the Miracle Seeds put away. We're going to get the nasturtiums going. I uh, opened them up and before I started the video back up so that I could and you know what? I'm going to only put two Per pot and save the rest. Save the rest of those and then let me get some seeds and I'll be right back. Alright, I got the seeds, they're really small, so we just uh, sow these like right on the top. And then just kind of water them in, and they should do. They should do okay. See, there's all the little seeds. And if they all manage to come up, which I don't think they will, just thin them out to. Th there's just a few in there. And with these guys, we just pop them in dirt. Just like you would a pea, and call them done. All right, I went ahead and moved those back over there. Now we're going to get the basil and the sage. These are going to be the next ones. 
Alright. I got the uh, basil seeds. They're little black seeds. So. It's kind of. Alright, sorry. I dropped the, the camera. So. Get some of those. This is a sweet basil. And it is organic. So, we'll just sprinkle a couple seeds there. And just kind of get them stick to your finger a little bit. And, oh. There. And you kind of see them all sprinkled around. I'll give them a little bit of a pat and then make sure they stick there. Good pat in. And then I'll come through with a little, with just a little bit of soil. Sorry. A little bit of soil and put it on top of that. That's the same thing that uh, I'll do with the sage. Be back one minute. I get seeds. All right, I got the basil seeds. What was this? Grab a few. And just pop them in. And then we come down here and we just gently give them a little. Set the plug in here and just cover them up a little bit. A little bit of pat. Good. Get that all set back off to the side. <sighs> Get the lemon balm. Be right back. Alright, I got the lemon balm seeds out. And they kind of look like little mini sunflower seeds. So, and I mean, they're pretty small, so. We're going to put about that much right there. And then we'll put there. There. And then some in the center, and you can kind of see them. So let's give them a little pat down, and I'll come back through and I'll put just a little bit of fine soil over top to finish that off. She's eating. She sees me. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright, we got the lemon bomb down. Now, it's the Bells of Ireland. 
Alright, let me get some seeds and I'll be right back. Alright. Yeah. Those are the seeds. They're like little pyramids. But I mean, obviously I think, you know, you see how I'm doing this. Now, these, I don't think the iguana can eat, and I'm not sure if they're actually edible or not, but I, I don't care. I'm just growing them because they look pretty, and I I tried to grow them uh, uh, last year, but I failed, so we're going to... We're going to try again here. So. so hopefully this time it works. Oh no, I have really sandy soil outside, so that might have been the problem. But, here we go. These are all planted. I got to move these guys and get that one up here so we can do that one. Last peek at the iguana before she runs away. Because I, I she's camera shy. All right, now we got four season lettuce, which are just two of those. And we got this cabbage and it's, you know, three to four pounds. So, uh, I'm planning on, you know, actually growing these. So, uh, we're going to do the cabbage first. I'm going to grab a few seeds out because it's only going to be probably one, two, three, three seeds. So I'll probably put three or four seeds per hole. All right. Be right back. All right. I got the seeds out. So we got... One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. And then this cover, 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 thin out after they come up. All right, the poor season lettuce is, uh, is, what is this, sprinkling on the top? It is a top layer. You don't want to put it under the soil. So, I'll get the seeds. Be right back. Alright. That's the four seasons uh, seed. So, we're just going to go like this. And... You see the little seeds just everywhere. So, and I just come through and give everything a pat down. And then, and then when it, uh, gets watered in, it will, uh, the seeds will settle down and they'll get covered up then. But you don't want to put too much soil over top of this 
over top of the uh, lettuce seeds. They won't uh, they won't want to pop up through too much dirt. So it's just best to surface sow them along with carrots and a few other smaller seeds. Well, that's it. Until next time, y'all. I'll uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.